Hi. Uh, I recently put up a new antenna, uh, and fed half wave antenna for 40 through 10 meters. And I figured I'd give it a try and see how it performs. Um, I'm going to do about 10 minutes of FD8. i uh, probably going to shorten that down a little bit for you and pick out the highlights uh, on that antenna. And then I'm going to go and do 10 minutes of FD8 on uh, my other antenna, uh, 10 to 80 Windham. And we'll see which antenna performs best. Hang on after the intro and uh, we'll get started. Welcome to the Lima Bravo Zero Fox Tradinda YouTube channel. I am Morton LB0FI. And uh, we're going to see now how the antenna performs. We'll move it over here to, to FTDX and see, see how it, everything works. I'm just going to try calling CQ. I'm calling CQ on 60 watts here on uh, FD8. Uh, perhaps I should find somewhere free to, to start calling as well. Well, this seems pretty open. And now we're going to do this for a couple of minutes and see what happens. See if anything bites. And I'm not going to call CQ North America right now. I'm just going to call a general CQ and see how long it takes before something happens here. And we got our first reply here uh, from France. I uh, got a minus five and, um, or I heard him minus five. Let's see what my report is back. I also have PSK report here going in the background so we can check that out to see how the propagation is. And at the moment we're on the NFED half wave antenna. And looks like we lost him. Give a couple more tries until we, we give, up, give up on him. Okay, so uh, the Frenchman returned here and I uh, got a minus eight in France, which should be good. We're about uh, an hour after uh, Grey Line here, so, uh, so nothing wrong with that. And um, we're, we're just going to see if we get any more replies here. Uh, got someone from Spain replying, already got him in my log. And we can just check PSK reporter here and see. Uh, whatever happens. So what we can see here is that we're spotted. Let's update and see where we're spotted. Uh, pretty much where we expect to be spotted at this time of day and year. Uh, east coast of the U.S. and uh, central parts of Europe. Uh, also Iceland. Let's give it a couple more tries and see what happens. Go back to, to JTDX here and see. And as you can see, we can hear a lot of American stations, Canadian stations here. Uh, I'm going to run that Spanish station just to get him out of my queue here. Uh, also some, some European stations and uh, one African station as far as I can see. So we're pretty much where we want to be. And this is not going to be any kind of scientific test. It's just going to be a quick test to see how the antennas perform. Spotting is good, even spotted somewhere in the Caribbean here. Uh, as far as I can see, I'll switch over so you can see as well. Uh, we're spotted here in uh, WP3. I think that's Puerto Rico as far as I know. So let's do a couple more QSOs and uh, we'll check this map on the spotting and then uh, we'll let the PSK reporter cool down and we'll get back and see how it is on uh, my window antenna. And there's a station from uh, Arizona, no, sorry, AR is Arkansas, calling CQ. Uh, I don't have Arkansas in my log, so uh, I'm gonna try to call back and uh, see if he replies to my call. And there's, uh, there was some Italian station that's probably a lot louder than me. So that's not going to be good, but we'll see if it picks up. I'm probably not going to be that lucky. 
I'm just going to go back to calling CQ again and uh, we'll see whatever happens. Okay, we'll do this Slovenian station here. And uh, after that, I'm going to stop calling. We'll check PSK Reporter and uh, then uh, wait for about 15 minutes. So uh, PSK Reporter clears and uh, we'll try the other antenna. And uh, no luck there. So we're, we're going to stop calling. We'll call for about uh, six or seven minutes now. I'm going to switch to PSK Reporter here. And you can see the pattern of spotting is pretty much the same. So hang on, I'll be right back and uh, we'll try the other antenna. So after about uh, five minutes of calling CQ on, uh, on the NFED half wave, this is our pattern where we're spotted. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see where we're spotted on the, the window and see which antenna performs better in this totally unscientifically test but uh, it's always fun to see and uh, usually it's the way that a new antenna always performs way way better than an old antenna so uh, it's it's going to be interesting we'll um, get back test a Wyndham and um, we'll uh, draw some kind of conclusions in the end here okay uh, 15 minutes has pretty much passed here and uh, We'll take a look just to see that PSK Reporter has cleared, and it has. Uh, no stations here. So we'll go back to uh, JTDX here and uh, check it out. Um, we're going to do the same exercise, calling CQ at a free spot for about 5 minutes on 60 watts on the Wyndham antenna and see if that performs any better. Um, already I can see some changes on where I received the stations. Um, there's a lot more European stations compared to uh, North American stations on the Wyndham. Um, so it seems like it doesn't listen as well as uh, or receive as well as uh, the NFED half wave. But we'll see what happens here. Uh, see if we can get any, any calls here. Let's just start by calling CQ instead, though, and see how this, this works out. We'll do this for approximately five minutes as well, and uh, we'll look at the same map on PSK Reporter, and uh, I'll just sum up how many, uh, see, uh, how many QSOs I got on, uh, on each antenna at the end here. And uh, it doesn't look promising here on the first three uh, CQs anyway. It doesn't seem like anyone wants to do a QSO with me. Uh, let's just check PSK Reporter here and uh, update this and see where we're spotted. Uh, and I can see the following here. We're spotted uh, all the way across Europe as earlier. Uh, perhaps a little bit further to the northwest than with the, uh, the NFED half wave. Uh, only one spot in North America, though, on my first four uh, CQs. And uh, we'll keep calling and, uh, and see. So we still called CQ now five times uh, without any replies. Let's uh, switch back to PSK Reporter and at least check where we're spotted. And a uh, little bit more across uh, Europe, uh, nothing more uh, in the U.S. We'll do this for about two more minutes and see. And then we'll just uh, figure out who's the winner, if it's uh, the unfed half wave or the uh, Wyndham in our quick and unscientific uh, test here. And we got uh, one uh, reply to our CQ here from Estonia. Uh, let's just see how that uh, pans out. At least we can hear him and uh, plus zero. And if we just wait for, uh, for a couple more seconds here, we'll see what our report back is. And I think we'll do this QSO. We'll check the... Uh, spots on PSK Reporter, and uh, we'll try to do some conclusions here. 
Uh, he got back to us with uh, a minus seven, which uh, still isn't bad. So we'll just let this pan out, uh, get the seven three back, and then we'll uh, check PSK reporter and uh, go back and try to to do some conclusions. So let's go back to PSK reporter here. Uh, we'll refresh that and uh, check it out. And uh, yeah, seems like there are far fewer spots with the window antenna than with the NFAD half wave. So we'll just um, just see um, see what ended up in the log. And as far as I can see, uh, I had two QSOs in five minutes on the NFAD half wave and one on the uh, window. So, which antenna is better in this totally unscientific test? Well, first of all, the NFED half wave got two QSOs in about five minutes on FD8. The uh, Wyndham got one. So, continuing to using unscientific uh, measurements here, the uh, NFED half wave is 100% better than the Wyndham. Uh, regarding the spots, uh, both antennas were spotted in pretty much the same areas, but the NFED half wave got a lot more spots, especially uh, in North America. And uh, finally, on receive, uh, I could hear North America, Europe, and Africa on both antennas, but a lot more on the NFED half wave. So the unscientific winner here is the NFED half wave. I'll keep testing the antenna uh, during the next uh, couple of days and see which, antennas, uh, which antenna performs better, if it's the NFED half wave or the Wyndham. Just for information here, uh, the Wyndham is a uh, factory made Hari 8210 Wyndham, and uh, the NFED half wave is a homebrew with uh, Anan from China, a 4091 Anan, and uh, it's cut for 40 meters, so it's a resonant on. Uh, 40, 20, 15, and 10. So I'm looking forward to testing these uh, antennas in the next couple of days against each other and see which will be the winner on the different bands. So if you like this video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, also, don't forget to check out my other videos here. Thank you for watching the Lima Bravo Zero Foxtrot India YouTube channel.